Everyone thinks my coming at ya. Since I've been putting out crypto and Web3 videos here on the channel, I've seen a ton of interest from a lot of different people building out games, which is really, really exciting. But one of the common threads that I see across all of these different use cases is how do I connect my game, typically Unity, but it could really be anything, to the blockchain? What are those kind of services, if you will, that I need to connect to, to not just connect and read information, but write information, do it in a way that's not hackable and is secure, and there, there are various different degrees based on the game's requirements. The, the reality is that there aren't that many tools out there today that make it easy to do that, and it requires a lot of different understanding of different components to get them all hooked in together. And if we're looking at a metaverse, of connected games and applications, that's not a scalable way to build out the ecosystem. So starting today, I wanted to show you some APIs that I've been working on to really help solve that problem. This is an authentication system that I've put out there. We'll walk through the APIs really briefly. Uh, that I think proves as that kind of base layer of ways to start thinking about integrating Unity with the blockchain. And moving into the future, what I'd love to do is actually build this out into a proper service that not only helps you connect them, but also manage your, your games and the assets associated with them. Because right now there's no tooling for that. There are a lot of different pieces. And if you're kind of a backend developer, it's possible to actually learn and kind of hook everything together, but it's complicated. And I think we need better tools when it comes to actually building out this whole ecosystem of connected universes, metaverses, if you will. So I'm going to be starting to work on that and expanding what I show here in this video today uh, to that scheme. It's going to take a little bit of time from the, at least the time that I'm recording this for, for that to manifest. So in the meantime, I'm going to be talking about one, not only the existing APIs that are available today to try out, to start hooking things together, but also some of those building blocks that you can look into today while some of these services get built out. If you're excited for any of that, definitely let me know down in the comments below. And also just generally speaking, I would love to see if you're building any of these games or applications, uh, showcase that over on Discord. I'd love to see it. And that always gets me really excited and intrigued about where the potential of this space can really go. So you can find our APIs here at crypto.fusevr.com. I will say the way that this is currently deployed is kind of just to give that proof of concept out there into the ecosystem of what's possible when you want to connect the Unity games with the blockchain and how you might go about that. The way this works is basically kind of a magic link authentication system. And I think it'll make more sense as I go about doing this demo here. But fundamentally, you have a couple APIs here for authentication and you have a couple APIs for then reading the state of that blockchain once you've authenticated a user and their cryptocurrency wallet. And this all happens basically through an email that a user would input into your game. They get an email, they go ahead and prove that they own a given wallet. And once they've proven that, you can then connect the, the dots together, which basically means read the state of the blockchain, check what NFTs they own, check what tokens they own, you name it, um, because that's all publicly accessible. So let, let's do a quick demo here. So the first thing we want to do um, is, is called the login function. So this is your email login authentication that will basically ask for an email and then go ahead and send them an email to verify ownership of their wallet. So we'll go ahead and call that here. I should also keep in mind, there is a Unity version of this SDK as well. If you want to play around with this from Unity, as opposed to just on this APIs page. And yeah, I'll, I'll make sure to leave these in the, the description. Really simply, it's it's just a REST API. So uh, you, can, you can take a look at it. It's really just this one script right here. And all it's doing is just calling crypto.fusphere.com slash APIs and passing in the exact fields that you see here. So uh, we'll, we'll be testing this from the APIs page because it comes with a try it now feature, so it makes sense. So to do this, we'll actually first go ahead. I've created a temporary email address just for testing purposes here. 
I'll go ahead, paste that into our try it now field. And long term, this will require an API ID. I haven't exposed that functionality because that's going to be coming as part of the management features that I want to, to introduce associated around an application. But uh, you could really put anything there for right now because it's not being used. This starts a long polling request that is waiting for your user to ultimately verify their wallet. So you can see here, a magic link is basically sent to your email. Let's go ahead, click that, and then we'll click verify email. That takes us back to the crypto.fusebr.com page. This will likely change in the future and ending up at a different endpoint, but for now that's fine. And uh, you, if, actually, if you take a look at the URL, it's actually running this get link right here for verifying the, the actual account. Here, we'll, we'll go ahead and you can verify that account. So that connects our wallet. It sets up a signature request. So what this is doing is actually going in and talking to the API backend, gets a random message here. The reason for a random message is all, otherwise any of this is kind of hackable and uh, not secure unless you really get a random message from a third party service for a user to authenticate against. So they get a random message here. They have to sign to prove that they own this wallet and this address, which is the, the whole component ecosystem of uh, connecting a private and public key together. By signing, you don't expose the private key of, of a user, which is incredibly important for security purposes, but it allows you to verify, which is really all we need to do. Our server is going to go ahead and verify that, and then it returns a token. And you can see that right here from our post request, right? You get a token, you actually get a token on both pages, but we can go ahead and close this, just go back to the original API page. It got a token. This page is basically thinking about it the same way as Unity, right? So this is Unity getting a token that you can actually go ahead and copy here. And that now basically represents a user's email associated with a wallet, and you can now actually connect those two together and start querying against that user and their identity because they've verified that for you and made sure that they actually own what who, they've verified who they say they are. With this token, you can now actually go ahead and start calling any of the account information APIs. You can see that they all require authorization, which is done by a token. So I'll go ahead and copy and paste that in here. This is done as a bearer token, which actually means that if you go to any bearer token decoder, so let's go ahead and you can just find any of those on, on the web. I can actually say I already clicked on one. I'll go ahead and copy and paste that in here. You can see it actually decodes the, the data that's, that's stored in here. So that's your app ID, the address associated with what they logged in with, a session ID for our APIs, as well as an expiration for that token. This is what allows the CryptoFuseVR.com backend to verify that a legitimate token was issued that connected the email address with this address right here. So now that we have that token, we can go ahead and just run all of these different try it now functions. So you can see here, if I call the account function, I get that address back, that's perfect. If I call balance, I have to specify a chain. So let's go ahead and pull this against ETH on this dummy account that I've set up. Just click, try it now. And let's just paste in ETH. I'll just go ahead and copy this for good measure because all of them actually use the same thing. Let's click execute. And you see we get a balance here. Now this is represented in the, the full um, way, the, the minimal unit of Ethereum, so which is way. So you have to divide this by the negative 18. So it's, it's really just 0 0.1, which actually if we go back to MetaMask and this dummy account, you can see that right here, it's 0 0.01, uh, which is the correct balance. Similarly, let's go ahead, Try this now against any ERC20 tokens. I don't believe there are any here. Yeah, so none, none here, which is fine. And let's try this against NFTs. I believe there's also none on this as well. Yeah, there's none on this account as well. But if you did have any, it would go ahead and list that out for you in terms of what is that token? 
uh, how much is, is owned, uh, as well as any of the extra metadata. This is actually all pulled from Morales, which I'll talk about in a future video. One more thing that I should point out is that this works also on mobile using Wallet Connect, which I'll talk about in a future video. And uh, through a deep link, you're actually able to go ahead and open up that same email and get that up and running um, within your, your mobile wallet so that you can verify transactions and connect your game to the mobile wallet. So it's designed to be very agnostic between whether this is a browser or whether that is a mobile wallet, um, which are the primary ways that people are interacting with the blockchain today. And I think high level, I think this serves at that base really for how you can do correct email authentication through a magic link and connect a player's wallet to your game and, and doing that in a secure way, especially when it comes to supporting multiple different wallets across various different platforms and different devices. I mean, I, I was really kind of trying to envision the case where you, you really have no way to get the link over to your actual wallet to, to be able to connect to, which is what Wallet Connect typically does. And we'll talk again a little about that in a separate video. But in the case of VR, where I have my wallet on a browser, there's no good way to connect the two together. If I'm on mobile and I have my wallet in a browser, there's no way to connect them together really that easily. And so I wanted something that through email, which I think is a standard communication platform, you could really start hooking things together and start authenticating in a seamless way. There's a lot more to this project that I think I, I really hope to unveil in several months from now. Uh, I think this is just the start of something really amazing and I'm really building it out to to solve some of those pain points that I'm seeing across the board when it comes to integrating Unity and blockchain uh, to build out these Metaverse games. So thanks so much for watching and look forward to plenty more videos coming down the pipe. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them. Otherwise, I'll catch you